Hi, Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you're wanting to check the health of your PC's SSD, or maybe you are running an older mechanical HDD, then just a quick video to show you how you can do that on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now this is quite handy, especially if you are suspecting that your drive is failing. Maybe you are just getting random blue screens of death, or for un some unknown reason, your drive is just slowed down. And this can be a quick safety net to check if any of your drives are failing and maybe you need to replace those drives. Now on Windows 11, if you are running a NVMe SSD, the quickest way to check the drive health of the SSD is just to head to your settings, head over to your system page and on the system page, click on storage and on the storage page, click on advanced storage settings and here you'll see disks and volumes, open up disks and volumes and here you'll see Yasma NVMe SSD, you click on properties and in this section you should see a disk health or a drive health status option and menu which will give you some important um, information regarding the status of your drive when it comes to its health. Now you can see in my case that's not there and this is quite normal for some SSDs and obviously uh, you won't see it here if you are running an older mechanical HDD. So if you do not see any of the information on this page, or maybe you are running an older drive, then on Windows 10 and Windows 11, we can head to uh, the Windows Tools, which is more the older legacy components of both operating systems, and we can get some valuable information from there. Now, this won't give you as much um, information regarding your drive health, but it will tell you if your drive has passed, or if basically it's failing, and then obviously that's a good safety net to, to obviously replace that drive. So on both OSs, we head to our Start menu, All Apps, scroll right down to the bottom, and on Windows 11, yeah, you'll see Windows Tools, and on Windows 10, that will be called Windows Administrative Tools. Click on that, and on this page, we head to our Performance Monitor, and open up, double click, and open up our Performance Monitor. Now yeah, on the left-hand side, we get some important information. So here we head to our data collector sets, expand that menu, then expand system. And I hope you can see this correctly in the video. And here we get system diagnostics. And you right click on system diagnostics and you click on start. Now that will scan. And once that's completed the scan, now what we need to do is we head to reports just below that, expand reports and expand system once again. And here you'll see system diagnostics. Expand that. And you can see I've obviously run a couple of tests prior to posting, so I could just test this out. And what you need to do is you click on your report, and that's collecting data for 60 seconds. Now, obviously, we don't want to look at my screen for 60 seconds, so I'm going to go to a report that was generated prior to posting, just to obviously quicken up the, and hasten up the video. And here you can see under basic system checks, we've got disk checks. And it says, it's got a little green logo next to it saying past checks for disk status. So all is okay. And if you want a more so-called in-depth little report, you expand disk checks. And here you can see test groups. We had smart predict failure check, past One test was run. Logical disk dirty bit check, one test was run. Pass. So in this case, it's passed both tests, so everything is okay with my SSD, and the same would apply if you are running a mechanical HDD. And this is a good way, as mentioned, uh, to check, um, once these steps are completed, to check um, if your hard drive is failing or if it is passed. And obviously, if it hasn't passed, then obviously it's time to start making a plan to maybe start upgrading your drive. And um, just wanted to put it out there, um, in case you're unaware, just a quick way on both Windows 10 and Windows 11 to check the health status of your SSD or your HDD. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.